All right, guys, go ahead and look ahead to next season for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Coming off a 10-3 and season, probably the team that benefits the most from college football playoff expansion. Uh, they've kind of been on that next tier out. You know, I mean, they can't beat Michigan. They can't beat Ohio State, but they can beat everybody else. So not this past season, but you look ahead or look back to the season before that. So two seasons ago, they were probably the fifth best team in the nation, but they just couldn't beat Ohio State or Michigan. You know what I mean? And they've got a pretty favorable schedule this year. We'll get to that here in a little bit, as well as how they're doing in the transfer portal, how they're doing in recruiting. But I think it sets up really nicely for them next season to probably make the playoff. Let's go ahead and look at their recruiting rankings here. All right, so you can see it on your screen now. They've got the 14th ranked recruiting class, 44th ranked transfer portal class. We'll get to the transfer portal here in a second, but they've definitely got some transfers coming in that should make an immediate impact. As far as the recruiting is concerned, all right, you've got the number one tight end coming in in the nation. Might be able to contribute right away. We'll see. Uh, number five, running back. They've usually got a pretty solid running back at Penn State. Number eight, quarterback. So you've definitely got some interesting guys coming in here. Number two, guard coming in. Uh, so you've definitely got some contributors coming in that are definitely going to benefit you in the future for sure. And James Franklin, like I said, is probably going to benefit the most from playoff expansion, I believe. But as you can see here, some really good prospects that should maybe be able to contribute right away. Transfer portal, let's pull it up real quick here. All right, so they've definitely got some guys that are going to contribute right off the bat, transfer portal-wise. All right, you got offense tackle coming in from Wisconsin. All right, you've got two new corners coming in, one from Georgia, one from Florida. Let me move my head out of the way so you can see the uh, where they came from. But yeah, one from Georgia, one from Florida. Should be able to contribute right away. A.J. Harris probably going to claim a starting spot right off the bat. Uh, definitely interesting transfer portal class that should be able to help. Edge rusher from Wisconsin and the big one, in my opinion, a pretty big receiver here, Julian Fleming. Not only is he going to help in the receiver category, but you took away one of Ohio State's starting receivers. Uh, so that's definitely going to help. As you can see, he's transferred from Ohio State one of their starters this year, and you could tell in the bowl game that they didn't have Julian Fleming. I realize they didn't have Marvin Harrison Jr. either, but Julian Fleming is really going to help give Drew Aller a weapon, and he's actually a really good blocker too when it comes to blocking uh, on the outskirts. Looking at their schedule real quick, all right, they do have a really good schedule, I think, that sets up them making the playoff and being a pretty good seed probably. Uh, you've got the extended, expanded Big Ten now. Uh, you're gaining, you know, USC, UCLA, Washington, Oregon. But they avoid Oregon, which is good for them. They avoid Michigan, which is good for them. Uh, but as far as their schedule, here you can see it. All right, in the preseason, they've got West Virginia. That's not going to be easy by any means. West Virginia should be improved next year. I've got them in my top 20, I think, at the moment. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a tough one, especially going to West Virginia. Bowling Green, that should be a win. Kent State, win. Illinois, win. UCLA, win. At USC, that should be a win, but that's not going to be easy by any means. At Wisconsin, same thing. I think it'll be a win, but it won't be easy. Then you get to the tough part here. Ohio State, I'm going to go ahead and say that's probably going to be a loss. Not going to be easy, but it is at home, so it's definitely going to benefit you. But Ohio State's kind of loaded up, so we're going to count that as a loss. But the good news is for Penn State, you can probably still make the playoff now even with two losses. You're probably going to be fine. But, yeah, I think a loss to Ohio State, Washington – they're not going to be the same Washington as last year. That's going to be a win for Penn State. Ed Purdue, that's a win. Minnesota, that's a win. Maryland, that's a win. So what you might be looking at here, depending on how the scenarios play out, you don't play Oregon. So let's say it all plays out to where Ohio State's undefeated, Oregon has one loss, Penn State has one loss. I'm not sure what the tiebreaker is going to be as far as who would play Ohio State. But either way, Penn State, I think, is looking at one loss, and then you get either a rematch with Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship or – you're fine. You've got one loss. You don't make the championship, but you're still going to the playoff no matter what. So I think playoff uh, Penn State is definitely in the playoff conversation and borderline lock for the playoffs looking at their schedule here. Besides Ohio State, I don't see anybody really competing with them next year, and I think they should be a playoff team. I've got them in my preseason top ten, I think, at number seven or eight. So I've got them pretty high at the moment. Uh, it's going to depend on kind of Drew Aller's development and, yeah, how Aller does. I mean – Will Fleming coming in help give him another weapon? Can he, you know, push the ball downfield a little more? We'll see. I wasn't too impressed with him this season. Uh, talking about Penn State's quarterback, but 
there's room for growth for growth for sure. So we'll see. But I think Penn State's going to be a playoff team, probably one loss. Where do you think Penn State's going to rank by the end of the season? Where would you rank them in the preseason? Let me know. Uh, what else do you want to see them do in the transfer portal? What do you think their record is at the end of the year, judging from this schedule here? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.